Hi everybody, it's Roger Yuki and today we are having our next tutorial for the Dolphin Emulation. Dolphin Emulation is responsible for Nintendo Wii games as well as Nintendo GameCube games. One of my favorite consoles back then was to play the Nintendo GameCube and recently you have been, uh, you have been seeing me play with Francis the Fox play Super Mario Galaxy and I would like to, to show you guys how to start setting up your dolphin emulation for the Nintendo Wii games. So first off, you need a controller of USB type and I have selected my favorite. I have my PS4 controller for today. For today's demonstration, I am using a PS4 controller because it allows me to play other games other than Super Mario Galaxy and Fortnite. So we're going to be using this puppy right here as our demonstration device for how to input Nintendo Wii um, inputs into the PS4 controller. But before we get into that, we do need to take a look at a Nintendo Wii controller and nunchuck because I have a nunchuck right here. It's been a while since I used this, but we have some buttons here that we need to map into our controller. So first off, let's take a look at what uh, Nintendo Wii controller looks like. And it looks like this right here. You have the A button, you have the home button, the plus minus. You have one, two, and on the back, I believe you have the B button, which is very important for later and for some games. So let's have a look at how to map it on Dolphin. So on Dolphin, if you have the Dolphin emulation open, head to the controllers tab, click controllers. And what we want to do is instead of going to the GameCube controller, standard controller, we're going to the second tab, which is this one. Emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter. And then when you hit the drop down, hit the, hit the emulated Wii remote button on the drop down menu. And press press configure. So as you can see here, we have the the wireless controller, and the wireless controller is indicated by my PS4 controller that I am using currently. And I would like to show you guys how to input stuff. We're always going to be inputting the nunchuck, attach motion plus, and later on we're going to be taking a look at sideways Wii remote an upright Wii remote. So first, so we're going to take a look at the buttons first. We have A, B, 1, 2, minus, plus, home. That is indicated by the Wii controller, the one that stands up. So for the A button on my PS4 controller, I decided to go with X. So that is called button 1. All you have to do is press, click on the button A, and then press on the controller X if you want that for button 1. Remember that you can do this for any controller you want, as long as it has USB input. Button B, I decided to go with square. I decided to go with square, which is called button 0 on the PS4 controller. For 1 and 2, for 1 and 2, the so 1 and 2, I have triangle for 1 and 2 for circle on PS4. So there you can see if it's working correctly, it should light up like that as you can see on my screen here. Plus and minus, I decided to go with plus for options button and minus for share button. Now keep in mind, you're not really sharing anything. It says the button you need for certain games. Home button to bring up the home menu. I decided to go with the with the touchpad when you press it down on the touchpad. That is what I decided to do with the home menu. D pad is the directional keys. I decided to go with up, down, left, left and right. The regular buttons like that. And then the nunchuck. We'll talk about the nunchuck in just a moment. 
motion simulation. The motion simulation has to deal with the uh, with the motion control. So you may have noticed that when I hit the the analog stick on the right side, this one right here, you notice that in the middle point area that the pointer is moving. That's because for this one, it's based on like the movement of the cursor on the Wii control. So that's what is what I did for the controller for the motion. Recenter is button 11 and button 11. Let me see if I remember what button 11 is. Button 11 is going to be. There is going to be a button 11. But button 11 allows you to recenter the recenter the cursor. Now you may have noticed that the shake on the left is also is also moving. That's because for shake I decided to go with L2. But it's this button right here. Now we may be wondering what does shake do? Shake for Mari Galaxy 1 and Mari Galaxy 2, there's a mechanic where Mario spins and in order to sh to spin Mario you have to shake the controller like this and for that button I decided to go with L2 so when I press L2 Mario should be spinning around at least for Mario Galaxy 1 but remember different games have different um, identities I decided the same button here so keep that in mind when you um when you use the shake. So you may have noticed that there's wavy line. The wavy lines are just are just indicator indicators of how hard you're shaking. But there's nothing in gameplay other than the shake command. Now tilt has something to do with more of tilting your controller. So if the game if the game mechanic forces you to tilt this is where in the loopy loop the loop galaxy on Mari Galaxy 1 there's a star that you need to do the tilting of the controller. So get, when you tilt your controller to the left, you're going to have the dolphin or whatever that is tilt to the left, turn left. And then turn right if you need it to go right. Wing is more of swinging the controller for certain games. I believe this is like Mario Baseball. However, in Mario Baseball, you can actually go with the sideways mechanic, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. So make sure you guys understand that point is for the cursor of the Wii control. So I went with the analog stick to the right. And then for the shaking, I went L2. Keep in mind that certain games, you want to change it. So this is very... Very straight. This is not straightforward, but it's more of this is more um, customizable, is what the word is. The motion input. I have not decided to go. I decided not to do with this. Extension. So extension has to deal with the extension. What does this mean? So in the Nintendo Wii era, we have the nunchuck. But there's more because we have this. So the Nintendo Wii had several games that had a special extension, to say, so to speak, where you attach something for a game, for example, Guitar Hero, in order to play a certain game. For example, let's say that you played um, Guitar Hero or DJ Hero, you may have noticed on the the menu we have the guitar drum kit DJ turntable and some other devices so when it comes to extension you can actually collaborate that with your controller of choice and then my example is the PS4 so we are going to use the nunchuck today because of Mario Galaxy for example so when you go to the extension tab you're going to notice that we have a nunchuck 
nunchuck button. We have the stick. So for the nunchuck, the nunchuck in Mario Galaxy 1 is for you to move Mario. So I decided for this, I decided to go with the left collab, the left analog stick for the PS4 controller to allow me to move Mario. So you can see that I'm point, I'm moving this thingy, and you can see how it's moving on the on the screen for you. And again, all you have to do to make the button happen, click on up, and then go up, down, down, left, left, and right, right. There are no modifiers from what I know. Certain games do not, most games do not have modifier. Keep the dead zone at 0% and you'll be okay. Buttons, now on the nunchuck, there are a few buttons for you to collaborate. And they are the, the Z button and the C button. For the most part, the Z button. The Z button right here is going to be your most important button. Because in Mario Galaxy 1, for example, for Mario to long jump, you need to hold Z down and then you have to press the jump button. So Z A or hold Z A to do long jump. So that's what that's what that is for. It's a combo button. C button is not used as much, but I would suggest for you to make a, a button on it for your controller so that just in case the C button is used in a game, then you have backup. I have selected button 4 for my Z button, and button 4 is L1 on my PS3, PS4 controller, as you can see here. Extension motion simulation as a deal with the shaking as well on the nunchuck. However, normally you don't shake with the nunchuck. It's very, very, very rare for games to have that type of um, motion. So the nunchuck does have sele selected games have this but I don't recommend using this unless you absolutely know what you're doing okay so for the most part that is how you do the emulation for the input I would like now to show you guys in game of how this looks like so I'm going to be playing I'm going to be showing you guys how it looks like in Mario Galaxy. Now I'm not going to play the same file that I do with Francis the Fox, obviously. But I want to show you guys how it looks like when you actually play a game. So we're going to load up, boot up Mario Galaxy here. But I'm not going to play the Francis the Fox file. So my my button for A and B are X and square. As you can see, I opened up Mario Galaxy. The pointer, the pointer is this. Okay, my X button is my A button. Now I'm gonna go to one. Two is my Francis the Fox. So one, I'm gonna be playing this file. Now keep in mind, you're allowed to change it at any, any time. An emulation. Now as you can see, I am moving Mario, my left stick. And I am going to be shooting Starbit because why not? Yay, you're welcome. Yeah. And then for the shaking, it's a one of two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I do have to change one thing. For some reason, I am still holding my long jump with the spin. But that's okay. There's plenty of time to fix that. So as you can see, I'm doing the backwards jump. And I'm spinning and spinning away. I believe you can do camera control. There you go. Like a camera control D pad. I'm pressing this. I'm moving the camera. And I can move it around using my stick here. Hey, what's up, Tone? It's been a while since I've seen you, buddy. How are you doing? How are you doing? You want to start it? I guess not. Sorry, bud. 
But that's how you do the input for Wii. Oh wait, there's more. I'm actually downloading Mario Baseball. So, so new Super Mario Bros. Wii is a game that you can play with sideways Wii remote. So how does that work? So we go back to controller, we go back to configure, and we go to this option. The option speaker span battery upright Wii remote or sideways. I have a sideways and you can have more options here. Okay, so here's how this works. I have the controller here. So let's take a look at how this works. So as you can see, we have value. We have values here. And if they are working, then we have the values working correctly. Okay, now I believe the Mario, um, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, when played horizontally, let's actually take a look at how that works. Remember, I have the option enabled for a sideways Wii remote. So now, my two button is my X button. When you hold it backwards, when you hold it sideways, you technically have to hold your PS4 controller like this. Because you're doing it sideways. So, to make this easier, it is when you have to really control it in a way. When we do sideways free remote on a PS4 controller, for example, on sideways, my A button, I believe, is also. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna actually change it, because two, I believe, is to jump, and one is to run. So in Mario, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, two should be your X, and one should be your square. A and B. I don't think you use A a lot, though. So I'm going to go with a button that I don't usually use. B is going to be L2. Let me just make sure. Yep. Plus, minus the same. Home button is the same. Up, down, left, right. This is going to become... If you hold it, hold your, hold your PS4 controller like this, it's going to be... Up, down, left, right is going to be, this, uh, this is going to be your new up. This button right here, your right button is going to become your new up. Up is going to be this. Your new down is going to be your left button on the D-pad. Your new left is going to be your up button. And your new right is going to be your down button. When done sideways. Now, keep in mind, you do not need a nunchuck for New Super Mario Brothers Wii because you can old, you can play it um, horizontal. So let's try that again. Now that we have sideways um, played, so let's have a look. So it still works. <laughs> So when done this way, so that works, and as you can see, if I hit left, right, it works by left, right, because I hit it for um, horizontal. So we're going to play on file one. one Here we go! What's up, Mario? Here we go. Is correct? And then we're going to attempt to play at least one level for you guys so that you can see the inputs work. Okay, that's what it's for. So that's what it's for. I believe to enter level. That's the home menu. It's L1, L2.
Wait a minute, now let me see if it actually works correctly. Oh, so that's how it is. I do not recommend L2R1. However, oh. so you want to fine tune it anytime. Instead of just leaving the game and exiting, we're going straight back to the emulator. So we're going to go to controls again. We're going to go to emulator Wii Remote. So I'm going to say my new A button is going to be X. And yes, you're allowed to do that. My one button is B. But to run, I believe in Mario. I believe you have to hold one. Or, or yeah, one. So let's try that again now that we change it. So now I can enter the button level with X. But it's L2. As you can see, I can run with L2. I remember, I told you what it's about. So now that you can see, we're playing oh, no. It's actually one of my favorite ones, Are We. Let's do that one more try. And then we're gonna move on. No, I did not do that on purpose. On the bar. So as you can see, I am running with L2. L R R2. Oh, remember, it's different when it's Let me see if I can. That's tilting. That's how you tilt. It's supposed to tilt the. That's what that's what that is. It does need to do some fine tuning. I believe there is a secret exit here, but I'm not going to be able to 
find it, but I can tell you. Oh, yeah. Mario so that time. is how you do emulation with the sideways control. Oh. So that is also a little preview of Mario Mario Wii. So now, now that you understand that, you can actually start to learn how to input the controller input for like, let's say, the bongo, the DJ classic guitar, all that for like Guitar Hero, and other games that require a um thing like that. Now keep in mind. To, un to understand this, you have to also understand uh, the button input like this. So it's like uh, input of the controllers here. So right there, you see if I'm holding down the, the button, it goes to 1. And that 1 is actually a good thing. Showing you how, how much it's pressed. And you see how this is only a zero and this is one so other buttons also have to be included so to test out the buttons if you have a zero it means it's not working correctly but if you have a one then that means that button is pressed and is working correctly so as you can see i'm putting it to one so basically, 0 is false, 1 is true. And as you can see, some have 0 point something, something, something. So button 1, button button 0, button circle, and button triangle. So all these have different button amounts based on a PS4 controller, because that is the controller I am using to demonstrate the values of the button, as you can see here. Now, that does not mean you cannot change anything. Like I said earlier, if you have a if you have a good idea of the of your play style with the controllers, then you can input that into your PS4 controller. Will this also work for a PS2 controller? Yes, as long as the controller in question is one of those USB types. Because how Dolphin works is it detects your controller based on USB. However, you can actually use Bluetooth technology and adapters if you if you wish. However, for the sake of today's video, I would like to present to you Amazon, in particular PS2 controller USB. However, I I actually recommend you to buy or purchase USB controller, especially when it comes to uh, um, Dolphin emulator. So if we go to PS2 controller wireless USB in particular, you're going to notice that we have this, right? However, what you want is something like this. The one that says USB wireless gaming controller gamepad for PC, laptop, computer. And the reason why is because there's a receiver. And the receiver is going to be detected by your computer. And when it's detected by your computer, you can use this, you can use this to your advantage on Dolphin Emulator. I actually have one of these puppies. It's not wor it works, but the X button stopped working. But it looks like this puppy right here. So this is like that one, but it's blue instead of black. So that is how it looks like. And you can use this for Dolphin Emulator as well. It's just going to look different. You also have the option of purchasing a USB 2.0 hub. If, for example, you have like different number of players for your game nights, for example, because you can play four players on New Super Mario Bros. Wii. 
Now, the reason why you do not want an actual PS4, I mean PS2 controller, like this one, for the, for the, um, Dolphin, is because it's not going to be supported unless you have an adapter. And you have to buy, you have to buy the adapter, you have to buy the PS2 controller, and it's a mess. So you can also do it for PS3, but I'm going to show you guys PS3 another time. Because for PS3 to work, you actually need a different, you also need a separate software, include, not included with today's tutorial. So here's my recommendation if you're going to go PS2 route, because I know there's some of you in the comments, and I read them, have questions about PS2 controller, can PS2 controller work? With Dolphin, and the answer is yes, as long as it's the USB type. Just because Dolphin emulator has to read PS2, um, read the uh, USB. The regular old-fashioned PS2 controller will not cut it unless you have an adapter. And I don't want you to spend too much money just for a PS2 controller. So I recommend the USB types, like this one. Like these puppies right here, like the one I showed you earlier, which is this guy right here. And it's only $20, by the way. And you don't need no separate software because it is plug and play. That's how these puppies work, okay? Next time, we're going to be going over a few more things about dolphin emulation we're always going to go over we're going to go over a few other material for dolphin emulation we're going to go over some other options we're going to go over some other tools that you can take to your advantage and we're going to be taking a look at some other other ideas other stuff that you need to learn about when it comes to the op when it comes to the emulator, if you have any questions about the controller or Nintendo Wii, or you want to let me know about if you have any problems, let me know in the comments below. Ask away because some of those questions might be answered in a new tutorial down the line. At, I am Retriyuki for Retriyuki Gaming, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to live life to the fullest and don't complain and entertain.